Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. It's been a sad day for altcoins. Bitcoin has dropped from about 5600 to 5466, but alts have dropped, uh, basically fallen off a cliff. I mean, it's really only around an 8 9% fall, but most of that fall happened within a few minutes, which means it looks like to me that there was some almost some kind of coordination of selling alts back into Bitcoin. And that this is when Bitcoin was still close at 5,600 and then selling Bitcoin back into uh, cash or stable coins. There has been a ton of volume on Bitcoin and Tether. And I think what is actually happening is the theory that once Bitcoin, when Bitcoin actually goes up, people are getting close to that break even point. There's a lot of people that it's at the break even point around $6,000. And as we get close to that, people are wanting to sell out of their alts and out of Bitcoin. Um, to actually recoup, recoup their losses so they don't go for further losses down the line. And that, in effect, um, because Bitcoin is the most liquid, all the other alts are selling into Bitcoin, and Bitcoin itself is going to sell into fiat, which cause, causes Bitcoin to fall a little bit, but all the alts to fall a lot. So as we get into the 6,000 range, we might actually be seeing more of that as more people hit their break-even point and actually want to cash out of crypto. You have to realize that most people aren't in crypto for some new world order or to redefine the banking systems. They don't actually care about that. They're in it to make money, and they're in it just as much not to lose money. So as people get really close to the break-even point, they might actually want to sell into Bitcoin to cash, sell out for cash. That's why the alts are draining into Bitcoin, and that is why um, Bitcoin might be selling off a bit too. But if you actually look at the top 10 coins, uh, where they are now compared to where they were at the beginning of the year, they're basically, all, besides XRP, they're basically all up at this point. Um, so they're retracing a significant part of their gains they've had since the beginning of the year. But we've seen other days like this before, and it's no need to really panic to any extent uh, because it's just basically reg it's, it's basically like still within the range of a large but regular movement. If you look at EOS, it, it hit like under $2 um, sometime early this year, and now it's at $473. Ethereum actually fell under 100 for a while, and we were in that 120 area for a while, and now it's at 164 um, XRP has actually fallen since the beginning of the year, so we can't really talk about that. Bitcoin Cash was at a hundred, you know, sixteen dollars. I remember um, sometime early this year, and now it's at two seventy-five. Litecoin is at seventy-two dollars, and it was it actually bottomed last year at around twenty-seven, and it has gained a lot since the beginning of this year. So all the other coins are basically up. Um, most of the coins are up since the beginning of this year. There's a couple of exceptions. Basic attention coin today is the only one that's actually remained strong. I'm not really sure why BAT is so strong. Doesn't make all that much sense to me, but the rest of the coins have actually done pretty well since the beginning of the year. We've had had gains, especially res with respect to USD since the beginning of the year. So we, had, we did retrace some of the gains we had yesterday, but overall um, the market still over the past four months has actually been pretty strong with the exception of a couple of coins. So... Overall, this is really not something to panic about. This is just, I think, a regular theory that people are trying to cash out as they get close to their break-even spot. I do actually expect a lot of volatility in the altcoins, which means there is actually a really, really good chance for swing trading profits um, in the next you know, couple of weeks as we bounce back and forth in the 6,000 territory. So don't look at this as a loss. Look at this as an opportunity, especially if you're a swing trader or day trader, because I think this kind of volatility, we're going to have volatility like the type we haven't seen since the hash war. Um, that might not be good if you're a long-term holder, but if you are a swing trader, you know, especially if you're trading um, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, and EOS, I think you're going to see a lot of potential for swing trading profits. So that could be something to actually look forward to, to boost up your daily profits. But this is nothing to really, this is still nothing to really worry about for the day. Most of the altcoins are up for the year, pretty massively, might I add, in comparison to USD. And unless you're holding like one of the two or three coins in the top 20 that really has suffered uh, since the beginning of the year in respect to USD, then you're generally doing okay. If you are holding one of those two or three coins, I really don't know what to say to you, except that um, you should probably diversify because if you just were holding an overall portfolio uh, since the beginning of the year, then you would have been way up. So that's my kind of report 
on what's happened yesterday. It's not really time to panic. People are just selling into Bitcoin to sell out a little bit. And I think you're going to see a ton of volatility as we get closer and closer to the 6,000 break even mark for many, many people. Because remember, 6,000 is where we were before the hash war. And a lot of people are waiting for that point to actually cash out so they don't have any losses. So that is my report for today. Check out my Twitter. It's in my description. Also, please check out uh, my social media, like and retweet if you like my content. Thank you and have a nice day.